Good morning, reception. Today I'm talking to you all about our new topic, which is going to last us two weeks. And that topic is Chinese New Year. So I'm going to go through all this information on the PowerPoint. Make sure you've got your listening ears on and you will learn lots of new facts. So China is the, one of the biggest continents in Asia. It's really, 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 really big. And it's the fourth biggest place in the whole world. Can you see it on the map there? That's us, where we live in England, and that's China. Look how much bigger it is than the uh, United Kingdom where we live. There are more people in China than in any other country at all. There's lots and lots and lots of people that live there. So, about Chinese New Year. A long, long time ago, there was a race called the Great Race, where lots of different animals went in a race. And every year for Chinese New Year, we have an animal that represents that year. And that's the order of which they came in the race. So this year is the year of the ox. Maybe you could ask your grown-ups to find out what year you were born in, which animal represents the year that you were born in. That's a challenge for you. So there's lots of facts about Chinese New Year. It starts in January or February. Now this year it starts on the 12th of February. That's the last day of our home learning before we have our little break for the school holidays. It celebrates new life. That's what Chinese New Year is all about, celebrating new life. And their celebrations last for two weeks. It's a very long time. They have lots and lots of celebrations and lots of fun things happening. And it goes over two weeks and it's been celebrated for a very, very long time, over 5,000 years. That's such a long time. So before Chinese New Year happens, people get ready for Chinese New Year by cleaning their house. So they do lots and lots and lots of cleaning. They make sure that everywhere is nice and tidy. And that is because they believe that they're getting rid of all of the bad luck they're sweeping away every bad luck from the year before and they're ready to bring lots of new good luck in the new Chinese New Year. Some people even paint their door a red colour because Chinese people believe that red is a lucky colour. They decorate their houses like this. Can you see lots of places? These might be Chinese restaurants. Have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant? They've got lots of decorations for Chinese New Year. They hang them around the doors and around their houses. And again, can you notice that they're red? That's because they believe red is their lucky colour. When it's Chinese New Year, people write cards to each other to say Happy New Year or good luck in the new year. So make sure you remember that one because that's your challenge for today. We'll come back to that a little bit later. So the night before Chinese New Year happens, they hang up their brushes and their mops and their buckets and they put them all away and they have to stop cleaning them. They don't carry on cleaning. No sweeping is allowed the night before in case it sweeps away any of the good luck that's starting to come for this new year. There's lots and lots of noise on Chinese New Year. People play really, really loud music and firecrackers, and that's to scare away any of the bad spirits that might be coming. So it's lots of noise, there's a big festival with lots of drums and lots of noise happening. The night before Chinese New Year, people have a special meal with their family, and there's lots and lots of different food. Do you notice here, they're eating with chopsticks, not a knife and fork, they're called chopsticks. They're very tricky. Maybe if you've got some at home, you could have a go at eating with some chopsticks. Traditional Chinese food, we've got 
um, some dumplings and some noodles. We have stirred rice dishes, noodles, lots of soup, loads and loads of lovely, yummy food. And that's the food that will be eaten around Chinese New Year. So this is another thing that's happening. Hopefully you might have seen some of these in your home learning packs, which are very, very lucky that Mrs. Thornborough has given you some. These are lucky packets and the children receive these lucky packets with a coin inside of them on New Year, on Chinese New Year. It's a tradition. So every year, all of the children get a red lucky packet. Have a look for yours in your home learning pack. Orange is a special during Chinese New Year, and that's because people give them to their visitors when they come round to their house. So if someone comes to your house, you would give them an orange, and that means that you're trying to make them rich, because oranges represent that you're going to be rich. So lots of people have oranges. Here's the lion dance, or the dragon, some people call it. So. During Chinese New Year, there's a famous dragon or lion dance and they're helpful and they bring you luck too. You will see some video links on our website that can show you videos of the dragon dance at the festival. It looks lots and lots of fun. Now here is the Lantern Festival. At the end of Chinese New Year, on the last day, they have a Lantern Festival. And look, there's lots of lanterns hung everywhere and the children carry them along their streets. And that's to finish off Chinese New Year. One last thing is here. This is um, the Chinese writing. So, you know, we would write A and B and all of our sounds like that, all of our letters. This is their writing. It's made up of lots of different symbols and characters. There are loads and loads to learn. Why don't you have a look on our school website and have a go at writing some Chinese writing? That would be lots of fun. And that means Happy New Year. It's Kung Hei Fat Choi. Can you say that? Kung Hei Fat Choi. That means Happy New Year in Chinese. So, well done for listening to my PowerPoint all about information about Chinese New Year. Now, hopefully you can tell your grown-ups some of that information. I'm sure you did have your listening ears on. Now, today's challenge is to write a Chinese New Year card. If you have a look on our website, Mrs Thornborough has done some examples for you. So you need to get a piece of paper, you need to fold it in half and you need to draw a picture on the front. You could have a look on our website or have a look on Google for some Chinese pictures of lots of different things. You might have the dragon or the lanterns or the lucky packets. You could have anything on there. And then inside you need to write two and whoever you're writing it to, remember two is a t and a uh, two and then love from love. You can sound love out, love from and your name. You might want to put some kisses at the bottom too. Have a look on our website for some examples and we can't wait to see pictures of your card. So, Kung Hei Fat Choi!